So I was talking to a reporter about this one time, and I thought I was doing a good job of explaining, and she said, okay, okay, you're saying all this stuff, but how do I really, really know, how do you know that other animals can think or feel? And I was trying to think of, well, what is the best scientific paper example that I can use? And then I realized the answer was right on the rug. When my puppy comes over to me and rolls over on her back, now, she doesn't get up from the rug and go over to the dining room table and roll over on her back, right? She comes to me. Why does she do that? Because she's just had a thought. And the thought is, I would like my belly rubbed. <laughs> and I'm going to go to him because we are family. And I know that if I roll over on my back, I have nothing to fear. I can not only trust him completely, but he knows what I'm asking for and he knows how to get the job done and make it feel really good. So she has had a thought and she has felt. And it's not really a lot more complicated than that.